In this lesson, we'll practice drawing the structure of a triacylglycerol. The first question reads, draw the condensed structural formula for glycerol tripalmitoleate, which is used in cosmetic creams and lotions. Just from the name alone, glycerol tri, we know that this is a triacylglycerol. Glycerol looks like this. We have CH2 bonded to OH, another one, and another one. And what ends up happening is that this glycerol molecule will form three bonds with three fatty acid chains. And specifically in our case, we have palmitoleate, which is referencing palmitoleic acid. If you watched one of our previous videos, palmitoleic acid is a 16 carbon chain, and it has a double bond on carbon 9. To form a bond between glycerol and those fatty acids, an ester bond forms between this oxygen and the carboxyl group of that hydrocarbon. So what happens is that this hydroxyl and the hydrogen here produce a molecule of water, and an ester bond forms between the carbonyl and the glycerol's oxygen. In case that's confusing to you, here's what I mean. So we have carbon double bonded to oxygen and the rest of the molecule. Now they're asking for the condensed structural formula, it's not a problem, so this will become CH2, and there are seven carbons following this carbonyl. Then we have CH double bonded to CH, and the rest of the molecule. CH2, five more carbons, and the last one. So this will be repeated three times where we have an ester bond here and one over here. What you see on your screen is the condensed structural formula for this triglycerol. In question number two, draw the condensed structural formula for triglycerol containing three molecules of myristic acid. From the shorthand notation, we know that this is a saturated fatty acid because it has no double bonds, so this triglycerol will actually be a solid at room temperature. Let's go ahead and redo what we did in the previous question. That's the glycerol part of the molecule. In myristic acid, the line angle structural formula looks like this, where we have carbon double bonded to oxygen, single bonded to OH, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Three of these will form an ester bond with these OH. I'll remove these hydrogens. We have carbon, double bonded to oxygen, same thing here. So because it is saturated, we have carbon, we'll put twelve of these, that makes thirteen and then the last one. So again, I'll just redo it really quickly. In CH3. And there you have it. That is how to draw the structure of a triacylglycerol. 